Warming up is so important as a cellist, or really any kind of musician for that matter. But let's face it, it can get pretty boring sometimes. I'll admit that for a lot of my 20s, I acted like the effort of warming up wasn't worth it. I would just jump into repertoire at the beginning of the day. But once I got myself back into a routine at 27, I noticed a huge difference in my playing for the better. So I committed to warming up seriously before diving into repertoire every day. And I absolutely recommend that you do the same. But sometimes I like to try to have fun with it. In this video, I'm going to give you six tips to spice up your warm-ups. Some of them I've been doing instinctually for a while, and some of them I thought up for this video. So let's dive in and see how we can mess around a little bit while still being productive. Tip number one, sing the overtones. Long tones are a great way to get started each day after tuning up. They let you find the sound of the cello and just practice slow bow control, resonance, and general tone production. As you play, sing the harmonic series above it, skipping the octave if you like. Tip number two, harmonizing. Speaking of singing, harmonize with yourself. Especially when you're doing scales, this can be a lot of fun. I didn't ever really think of doing it. I just noticed I was out of instinct from time to time when I got bored. It adds a layer of richness and gives you some even more fine-grained intonation practice if you do it right. Number three, from the top. You don't have to start every scale from the bottom. Try it from the top sometimes, and then go back up. It's not only a way to just switch things up a little bit, but it's a good opportunity to practice hitting that high note right where it belongs from thin air. You may want to try one from the bottom, one from the top, and then alternate like that. You still get all the notes in, you just get to be a little spicier about it. Tip number four, scale order. Speaking of scales, you don't have to do them in order, and same goes for arpeggios. We have 12 major and minor keys we can exercise, and there's no reason why they have to follow each other in any particular way. I coded up a little tool that you can use to get a random scale order. Once I tested and debugged, it was ready to go, and it's now live at celloben.com slash shuffle. I tip my hat to the Stack Overflow commenter shown on screen who got me going in the right direction. Here's the order it came up with for me today, so I'll do that. Tip number five, double stops. Throw some double stops into your scales when it feels good in the hand. I do this during my scale routine sometimes, and much like the singing, it's just something that organically happened. I do this with thirds and sixths, keeping it within the key I'm playing when the opportunity to do them conveniently presents itself. And tip number six, the Johann Shuffle. Another fun thing to do is, if you've learned all the Bach suites, play a random movement. And yes, I coded another tool for that. It's how I have fun. In case you've learned the fifth suite in the retuned version, it's probably not great to tune down just to play a random movement during a warm-up. 
so I've made sure to include the option to exclude it. You can find that at celloben.com slash randombach. And of course, if you haven't learned all the suites, just keep hitting the button until you get to a suite you have learned. Today, when I used it, it gave me the bourrées from the third suite. So I'll go ahead and do those. Now, I'm sure that there are countless other ways to spice up your warm-up sessions. Let's brainstorm together so that we can have fun every morning as we're getting ready to work on our pieces. So, tell me your thoughts in the comments. Maybe I'll make a part two later based on your suggestions. And if you got something out of this video, I would be honored if you'd leave me a like and a sub. I have a blast making these, and I want to build a community of cellists on YouTube, and that'll help me do that. And if you're an adult who wants to learn how to play cello, even if you've never played an instrument before, and even if you don't know how to read music, my online course can help you, and I'd love for you to join. You can just go to this address on screen or click the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you're on the lookout for more cello and music-related content, I cordially invite you to continue your journey with these videos here. And with that, I can't wait to see you in the next video. Cheers, my friends.